So their children lack self-control, were very dependent, and very distrustful. More research done. A whole host of researchers, just to name a few up here, have found uh, evidence supporting the idea that demanding parents have children who are less hostile and less rebellious towards the parents who uh, demand less of their children. So authoritarian parents have children who are less hostile than those who, than the more permissive parents. Um, <coughs> the research done on self-esteem and parenting style, John Murray, who developed the study that I'll later talk about, um, hypothesized that authoritativeness would positively relate to self-esteem. So children with authoritative parents would have higher self-esteem. Authoritarianism would negatively relate to self-esteem, lower self-esteem, and permissive would have no relationship to self-esteem. And he found evidence to support this hypothesis in his study. However, Rudy and Griffith in 2006 <coughs> found, thought, hypothesized that authoritarianism would strongly be associated with low self-esteem. However, he found no data supporting that authoritarianism had any effect on self-esteem, or had any relationship to self-esteem. So there's an evidence of conflicting data there, which is kind of why I wanted to take do my own data, uh, do my own study as well, and come up with my own data. Two theorists who have um, speculated about the relationship between parenting style and self-esteem are Shaw and Aaron Sapp, and they both believe that permissive parenting style and lower self-esteem have has a relationship with lower self-esteem. And they speculate as to why. Shaw thinks that it's because when parents are worshiping the ground their child walks on and when are building up the child every turn, the child goes out into the world where not everyone builds them up constantly, not everyone worships the ground they walk on, and as a result, the child actually has lower self-esteem. Aaron Saft thought that in addition to that, she thought that there when a parent builds up a child's accomplishments too much, builds up any accomplishments, she gives the example, for instance, of a girl who um, was in a gymnastics class and she got a certificate for being able to sit, you know, crisscross on the floor. And the girl was like, why is that a certificate for this? Everyone else can do that too. So the girl didn't know which accomplishments to be proud of anymore, which, again, as we remember before, not lack of fine accomplishments is another sign of low self-esteem. So my hypothesis is that perceived <coughs> have gotten more permissive across the years from, de from the baby boomer generation to generation Y, and that self-esteem has decreased across the generations as well. In order to test this, I made a survey using Google Forms, and I posted my survey on Facebook, I sent the link out via email, my advisor helped me <laughs> find people to take the survey as well. And in order to create the survey, I combined the parental authority questionnaire developed by Burry. And he, this survey's purpose is to measure the perceptions of children regarding their parents' styles of 